you read Roald Dahl as as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, when and. Is, was he an inspiration? I mean, you've been compared to him now, David. People make those comparisons. I know Sir Quentin let, illustrated for the first two of your, your books. So how does that make you feel? Well, it's a thrill to be compared to someone who's your idol. For me, his book, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, was the first book that I read for pleasure. Often you're told to read a book by a teacher or maybe a parent, and it's a chore. But if you find a book yourself, and we'd go to the local library every couple of weeks, me and my sister, mum and dad, and we'd be able to choose a few books, and I'd probably get a book out about the solar system. I would get the cassette tape of Queen's soundtrack to Flash Gordon. For some reason, <laughs> I always used to get that. I liked that. And then I'd probably pick a, a, a novel, and uh, often I'd be drawn to Roald Dahl, but the illustrations, fantastic and exciting, and the stories, always intriguing and always different. And when you find a book that you read purely for pleasure, that really puts you on the path to reading. You do meet lots of adults who don't read books, never read books, and I think probably they didn't read any ones they enjoyed as a child, and so they just sort of gave it up. And it's a shame, um, because you miss out on so much. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.